The first Longitude Prize was 300 years ago, and it was created because there was no way for ships to track longitude. It got people working on this problem who never would have been working on it. Just think of it, 300 years later, the second prize was given to us for, for doing this. I was a PhD candidate, and one of those tools that I was working on developing turned out to be a very effective way to prevent the evolution of antimicrobial resistance. Then when the Longitude Prize came up, we wanted to test how fast we could actually measure the response to antibiotics. And uh, it was really fast, um, but the technology was very complicated and not user-friendly at all. I started as a mentor for Professor Johan Elf, and uh, with the great help from Boris and Baltikin, his PhD student, we put together a, a business plan. The Longitude Prize has been with us throughout the entire journey, both keeping us on target for the final product, but also really been motivating the entire teams. The Longitude Prize was basically the specifications for the company. When I started here in 2018, it was just a couple of people sitting and playing around in the lab and seeing what we could do. When we talk to people with experience, they really say this is truly amazing speed to bring a product from the lab to the bedside. Everybody has a relationship with Mutiais. Everybody relates to it and understands that it's something that is in the need of better diagnostic care. The idea is to bring the care as close as possible to the patients. PA100 is really a user-friendly system and the only thing that the doctor really needs to do is to ask the patient for a urine sample. All the user has to do is add your urine sample into the cartridge and then enter it into the analyzer. Which will perform the analysis to detect if there is bacteria or not and then it will tell us if this bacteria is resistant or susceptible to antibiotics. The analyzer will run the test fully automatically. So it will take 30 to 45 minutes to get a result. We test for five different antibiotics at the same time. And you can choose to treat that patient with the one that has least possibility or probability to drive the AMR problem further. So you can actually use old retired antibiotics. The criteria for the Longitude Prize, it's really been a cornerstone for our development. I don't think we would have aimed for 30 minutes if not for the Longitude Prize. The clinics won't need to do to perform any maintenance during the lifespan of the instrument. Our instrument will restart and check the quality of its components every day, so we guarantee high quality results. It's truly revolutionary to be able to analyze the bacteria in the doctor's office. It was not sure that anybody ultimately would win this Longitude Prize. That's why it's so significant that PA100 has won, and they've only won after they've been vetted, literally after a period of years. This is really a game changer. Winning the Longitude Prize is the first true and biggest recognition that what we have been doing all these years was something for a very important global cause. It's so nice to hear that other people see the same thing and the same potential as we do. For me, winning the Longitude Prize, it, it's almost like winning the Nobel Prize. It's a very proud moment and I, I will remember it for really the rest of my life for sure. Now the real journey starts. The prize money itself will definitely be able to help us accelerate all the activities. So getting the product out on the market in Europe and then expand it to different regions in the world. It will also help us accelerate the next application, which could be bloodstream infection or some other application. We will not alone solve this problem, but we can create an environment where people will perhaps attract more investments as well into this field and, and others will develop their products. It's not just one product that will solve the entire problem. We need to get the world leaders to understand that they need also to contribute and try to reduce AMR around the world. And any recognition like this will help us to try to push the world leaders as well to start acting. ChallengeWorks is excited about what the Longitude Prize on AMR has achieved. Prizes set objectives 
which are actually quite difficult. But in this case, although it was difficult and it took 10 years to have a winner, the winner exists today because we really pushed people to dream about what was possible.